All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakodash, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahushai being the name of his beloved Son who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. That's the true name of the last one, Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honor to the apostles and others, great millstone, and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And the title of this lesson will be The Last Days of This Present Age. Okay, the last days of this present age, which, you know, we're in the age, the world of the wicked. Okay, which is Esau Edom, according to the scriptures. And if you don't know who Esau Edom is by now, you know, you better find out, man. Okay, Esau Edom is the so-called white man. Okay, known as the wicked in the scriptures. Okay, um, you know, his world is rapidly coming to an end. You know, being an Edomite doesn't have, it doesn't hold, you know, as much power as it used to, you know? Everything is going to shit, you know, wickedness is everywhere. The morale of the people is at an all-time low. You know, you Edomites, you know, you're being revealed, you know, every day, everywhere you turn. You know, this is coming out, that's coming out, okay? And you, you, you're mainly being revealed, you know, uh, 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 by the word, man, okay? By the word of Yahweh, by Shemal Shai, you devils. Your Edomites are being revealed, okay, and uh, you know that's a major indicator that uh, you know we're at the end, okay, that we're in the last days of this, this present age, all right, because it was prophesied, it's written that uh, you know that um, <clears throat> it's a lot. It's written that uh, you know we will return back to our power, okay. The Lord will give us that breath again, okay, and we will know who we are, which. And knowing who we are, we know who we, we find out who you are, man. Okay, Esau Edom. Okay, and your world is going out, man. All right, Yahweh Shah said once this, once this uh, word, you know, goes about the four corners of the earth. Okay, this this the, the, this true gospel. Okay, in its purity, uh, uh, the end shall come. Okay, so time is no longer on you devil side, man. Yahweh Shah said, I've seen Satan. Uh, 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 as lightning fall from heaven, man. Okay, so the last days of this present age. Okay, the last days of Esau Edom's world, man. This is Job twenty and four. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short? Okay, and we know that Esau Edom is the wicked man. All right, and the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. When the wicked bear fruit, the, the the people mourn. Okay, so it's 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 plainly seen. <laughs> that that the so-called white man is Esau Edom, the wicked man. Okay, it says, "Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short?" Okay, it seemed like you've been, you know, doing your thing forever, but really, it's it's, it's just a glimpse, you know, compared to, you know, Yahweh Shem Shai in his time, man. It's just a glimpse, you know. It says that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Okay, so that's why the scriptures say you're going to come down with that great wrath because you know that you have but a short time, man. Okay, your, 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 your time is, 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 you're on your way out, buddy. All right, you're on your way out, man. You Edomites, you're feeling it in these last days. Okay, it, it ain't looking so good for you Edomites nowadays, man. Okay, like I said, time is no longer on your side, man. Okay, and we know that according to the scriptures, everything that's happening on the earth is showing us. How close we are, man. All right, because the true, the true servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, we looking for that new heaven and that new earth, man. Okay, this place has to has to pass on, man. Like the scriptures tell you. Um, let me go to it, man. Uh, what is that? Uh, second, I mean, uh, Sirach ten. Okay, this is a uh, Sirach ten and eight, because of unrighteous dealings. Injuries and riches got by deceit, right? Whose unrighteous dealings? Esau Edom's unrighteous dealings, his injuries and his riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Okay, and this is this is we're in that transitional period, man. We're in that we're in that transitional uh, uh, period right now, man. All right, that power is being translated, back, uh, uh, you know, back to the to to uh, uh, the true rulers, man. Okay, which are the Lord's people, the Israelites, starting with the Lord's elect, man. Okay, 
So <clears throat> we're in that time, man. Okay. And everything on the earth, like the scriptures say, the end is manifest. It's showing that we're uh, we're real close, man. We're real close, you know, to Yahweh Shah's return. Okay. So this is Habakkuk two and three, getting straight to the point. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time." All right. All the prophecies. Okay. All the visions that the great men of the Lord have received. Okay. They're written them down. Okay. And we have the collection of books today. Okay, but these these visions, all right, these prophecies were to transpire at a certain uh, 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 age, in a certain age, in a certain time. Okay, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end they shall speak. Okay, at the end they shall speak, man. Okay, and are, are they not speaking? Okay, everything that the Lord uh, 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 prophesied and told us is 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 uh, 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 showing today, man. You know, like brothers say, the, the prophecies is jumping out the book, man. You see what's happening over there in South Africa, okay? Uh, 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 chaos is ensuing, which is fastly approaching America, man. Okay, fastly approaching America, man. There's about to be a famine out here, pestilence out here, okay? It's about to be violence, like they showed you on uh, the Forever Purge, okay? All right, there's going to be power uh, outages, okay? It's going to be uh, looting. Sedition among men All of these things man <laughs> And the stage is set for all of these things to, 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 to transpire man Okay it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time But at the end it shall speak And not lie man Right because it's, it's impossible For the heavenly father to lie man So it's, it's scripture say He said it shall he not do it Okay And these are the things that we're waiting on man We know that that last major one that last major prophecy is that mark being pushed, man. Which that could be, or, or that technology could be within that uh, potion that Esau Edom is pushing, man. So we, we we real close, man. Okay? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, man. You know, showing you that we got to have patience in this thing, all right? Because everything is measured. Okay, everything has its time. So we have to be patient, understanding the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man, because everything is happening in our favor in these last days, man. Not you Edomites. At one time, it, you know, it appeared like everything was happening in your favor. You thought the Lord was with you, but no, the Lord is with us, man. Okay, and the Lord before us, who could be against us, man? All right, now time is, is back on our side, man. Okay, and it's time for you Edomites to lose, man. All right, because your world is going out. Okay. Scripture say righteousness is immortal. All right, our world, our world is going to be eternal, not yours, man. All right. So let's go to Second Edges six, and I just want to read all the way through this. Second Edges six and one, and he said unto me, in the beginning, when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightened. Light, lightning, lightning, uh, <laughs> lightning, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid. All right, this is Yahweh by Shemuel Shai giving you, you know, the, the scoop. Okay, it says before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the movable powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together, or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys of in Zion were hot. Or ever the present years were sought out, or or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, before before they were sealed, that have gathered faith for a treasure, right? Because it's all about faith, and that faith is straight from Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, man. Okay, that faith is a gift. Okay, so it says, before they were sealed, that have gathered faith for a treasure, which is the elect. Then did I consider these things, okay, and they all were made through me alone. Okay, showing you who's in control. Okay, showing you that it's the Heavenly Father's movie. Okay, and that's why the Lord, He knows today. Okay, the Heavenly Father knows today, man. Yahweh, He knows today, man. Okay, it says, then, then, then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be ended and by none other. So it's Yahweh, watch from outside, bringing your world, man, uh, to an end. Rapidly bringing your world to an end, man. 
Okay, and we see it, man. Okay, we see it, man, to the point where we know at any moment, you know, at any moment, some some major could happen, man. Okay, that's gonna change everything, man. Okay, and we hoping that it's this year, man. Okay, because we're tired of this fucking captivity. Okay, we're tired of being in this flesh. All right, we're ready to be to be uh, uh, liberated, man. Okay, which is gonna take Yahweh Shai to return and liberate us, man, set us free. Okay, not the so-called white man. All right, we ain't looking to you devils for nothing. All right, fuck you and all your offers, man. Fuck your potion and fuck that mark. Okay, it says then then uh, Salaki for my language. It says then answered I and said. Uh, yeah, verse 7 Then answered I and said What shall be the parting of Sunday of the times Or when shall be the end of the first And the beginning of it that followeth Okay he wanted, hey, I just wanted to know man You know, just like us Okay, it says And he said unto him, unto me From Abraham unto Isaac When Jacob and Esau were, were, were born of him Okay, these are key uh, Key figures In the most high story, man These are Important men in the Lord's story, okay? It says, and he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hell of Esau, representing us pulling you out of power, man. Okay, pulling you down, man. Okay? It says, let me read eight again, man. All right? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, all right, key figures in the Lord's movie. And when Jacob and Esau were born of him, remember, they were fighting at the womb, in the womb, okay? And they were separated from birth, man, and became two great nations, okay? So it's, 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 uh, uh, it's, uh, very, uh, important to understand this history. It says, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, like I said, representing, you know, us pulling you out of power. For Esau is the end of the world, man. You Edomites. All right. You're the end of the world. All right. When Yahweh makes his grand appearance, like the scripts say, he's going to come with uh, 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 power and great glory. You Edomites. Uh, you, it's going to be you that's going to be uh, uh, in power, man, when the Lord returns, man. All right. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. Right. Because the Lord is going to. Uh, 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 exalt his people again, man. It's gonna be known who the Lord is with, man. Okay, when the when the Lord returns, man. All right, that new heaven and that new earth. Okay, let me get that. Uh, it's actually uh, in the same book. Okay, because when Yahweh shall come, he's gonna like the scriptures say, war in heaven. Uh, 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 Michael. Okay, and his, and, and his angels. Or how does it go? Uh, we know Yahweh Shah is going to come back And you Edomites It says Satan and his angels Is going to try to fight against him man But you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna lose horribly man Okay but you're Just like it tells you in Daniel's the second chapter That stone all right, When that stone uh, 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 You know sma smashes against uh, uh, you, you know the, the, uh, uh, You know in, 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 uh, in Nebuchadnezzar's dream That stone You know uh, hit that image man Okay, which represents Yahweh Shai, which we know, uh, uh, what the scriptures say, uh, the feet, uh, 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 clay and, uh, and iron, you know, partly weak, partly strong. Okay, we're in that uh, uh, revived Roman Empire under NATO and the EU. Um, Yahweh Shai is going to come, man. When he comes, it's going to be you devils in power, man. Okay, Esau is the end of the world, man. Okay, uh, uh, also lining up with Lamentations, the fourth chapter, man. This is our last captivity. Okay, so let me get that scripture. Uh... <clears throat> For some reason, that scripture is always highlighted, man, when I come here, man. You know, it's beautiful, though, man. Second Edges 2 and 34. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, we, we know that I ain't talking about you other nations, man. The Lord ain't dealing with you other nations. It's talking about Israel. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand, which we know only the elect is going to hear and understand, look for your shepherd. Okay, Yahweh Shai. He shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. Okay, so this day and age, man, this time, Yahweh Shai is going to make his, uh, 
his grand uh, 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 return, man, his second coming, man. Okay, which is he gonna lay down all you nations, man. Okay, like the scriptures tell you in uh, Second Thessalonians. Uh, let me go there real quick. Or is it first? Yeah, second. I think it's Second Thessalonians two. All right, let me. Uh, it's uh, Second Thessalonians two and five. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know what withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. And who is this speaking about? Esau, Edom. You're being revealed, man. And the main thing is you're an Edomite, man. But you tried to run away, you know, your, you know, the whole time you've been in power, you ain't really, you ain't pushed that out, man, at all. You know, when I was coming up, before I heard the word, I never heard of an Edomite in my life. <laughs> you know, I never heard of an Edomite. You go to these churches, they ain't talking about no Edomites. Okay, but now the uh, 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 you Edomites, now, you know, you in the conversation, man. And it's your how about Shemal Shai on your ass, man. Why? Because it's, 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 it's time for you to be judged, man. Okay, it's time for your world to go out and our world to come in. Okay, and it's starting with this word, man. All right, it says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in this time. Esau, Edom. Okay, everything is being uncovered. Who you truly are, man. You're a demon, you're a devil, and you're Satan, man. Okay, you're Satan's counterpart on the earth, man. Okay, you're in, you're the in, in, in embodiment, if I'm saying that right. You're the epitome of evil, okay? It says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work, okay? He's talking about the Romans. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And who's going to take you out of the way? Yahweh himself, man. Okay, Yahweh himself is going is going to get you, man. So let's go back to Second Edges uh, six again. Okay, and let's read that part. Second Edges six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world. Okay, so this is the last days of Esau's age, man. The last, the very few seconds of your your uh your the, the end of your age, man. Okay, we're at the end of the hour, man. All right, the beginning of the top of the hour was, was when Yahweh Shai came. Okay, and now we're at the end of that hour, man. All right, the last few seconds of that hour, and that bell is about to ring, man. Okay, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, like the scriptures say, The saints shall take the kingdom, okay, and possess it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, man. All eternity, man. The scriptures say, The days of Israel are innumerable. All right, so this is what we're looking for. This is what we're hoping in, man. Okay, now let's go to. Uh, Let's go to Matthew 24, okay? This is uh, Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? Okay? That's where the mind of, of, of the uh, the men of the Lord are, man. You know, what are the signs? Well, you know, when are you going to come? It says, And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world, man Which when you go into it, it's eon Which is an age, man A period of time, okay So we're at the end Of Esau's age, man Which is beautiful, man You know, if you don't have a If you don't, you know, if you're sad, man Just think of this devil falling, man Alright, instant uh, uh, rejoicing Right there, man These Edomites are losing, man, check them out, you know They're losing, okay So it says Tell us when shall these things be And what shall be the sign of thy coming And of the end of the world man And everything that Yahweh Shai listed right here in this chapter Matter of fact let me read it Okay Let me jump down to 6 It says and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars Are we not, are we not hearing of Russia Are we not hearing of, of, of America And Israel and, and, and China Okay and these other nations man Uh 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 uh, uh, uh beefing man Okay, so those are wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines 
and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And these things are happening, man. Okay? The end is manifest. These things are happening, man. Okay? All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right? It's just the beginning. Now, let, uh, you know, this in the NLT. Okay, let's read this in the NLT. It says, But all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. All right? And the scriptures tell you that the, um, the plagues are not slack. Okay? Just like I tell you when first that's on is the fifth chapter. Okay? It should be like a woman, uh, you know, basically dealing with the per birth pains and they should not escape. Okay? So all these things are taking place, man. Like the scriptures say, uh, at the end they should speak. Okay? So we're at the end of this man's age. This man is on his way out, man. All right? This man's money is losing, all right? How he gets down around the earth, destabilizing regions, economic hitmen, all this information has came out, man. Who we are, what you're doing to attack our people on every side. Okay, all these things coming out, man. So before Yahweh Shaxx returns, we know Esau Edom will be revealed, man. Just like when you go to uh, Isaiah the 47th chapter, it speaks of uncovering the, 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 the legs, you know, make bare the, the knee, you know, paraphrasing. And then it goes into Yahweh Shai not meeting you as a man. Okay, so before Yahweh Shai returns, this man got to be put on blast, man, in the spirit, man. You got to be put on blast, man. And it's happening and it's beautiful. Okay, and we just watching your world crumble, man. You know, you're watching it crumble. So I want to end off right here with the uh, first, first Peter 4 and 7. But the end of all things is at hand, man. The end of it, the end of it all, man. The end of wickedness. Okay, the end of uh, Esau, Edom's wicked ass rule, man. Okay, because all this that you see today ain't gonna be happening in our kingdom. You know, the laws of Yahweh Shmuel Shai are gonna be established, man. Okay, and judgment is gonna go out, man. With you other nations, when, when you when you go off, man, judgment is gonna go out, go uh, go out, man. It ain't gonna be slack like in this place, man. Okay, but the end of all things is at hand. Okay, be therefore sober and watch unto prayer, man. And that's what the true servants of Yahweh Shemel Shai are doing, man. The ones that are hastening the day, man. Okay, so time is no longer on your devil's side. You know, we're in the last days of your your age, man, of your world, man. So Lord's was edifying. You know, uh, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shemel Shai by Shemel Kadash. Till next time, Shalom.